You all live together. Yeah. yeah. Well, what do you want to tell her? She's a beautiful bride. Well, I'm here to tell you that you shouldn't get married to Tyree or whatever. Why? Because he's, he's been cheating on you, he's messing around, and he's not good for you. Well, why are you just not telling me that? I'm in my, you know, my wedding dress, Drika. How do you know he's cheating on me? Because it's with me. What? You know, a one-night stand, however great, is merely a fantasy. I mean, at best, it feeds a notion of what could be or what might have been. It's a fling with no strings, no baggage, unless, of course, one of the parties wants there to be a second night, and maybe many more. And then there can be hurt, because the person you'd like to see again wasn't thinking that way. So he or she is gone, only a fantasy never fulfilled. Or you keep trying to hook up with that person again, and you do find him or her, but then you find it's not the same. It wasn't as you remembered or have since built up in your mind. The reality never is great as the fantasy. The point being, one night stands can hurt, particularly if one of the parties thought there'd be a second night. The decent answer is don't have a one night stand if you know beforehand that there won't be a second. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other. You know, the natural impulse is to try and figure out ways to save these marriages, and yet that may not necessarily be the best thing for either partner. Simply put, rather than just saying, hey, we've got to save this marriage, figure out first for yourself, do you really want to? I mean, if you weren't yet married, knowing what you now know about your spouse, would you ask him or her to marry you now? Only if the answer is clearly yes, is the marriage worth saving. Otherwise, you're investing in heartache, but saving nothing. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other. Jerry Springer, one of the most influential and controversial figures in TV history has died. Jerry hosted the smash hit syndicated talk show, The Jerry Springer Show, for 27 years, and it was never a boring moment on the weird show, which was known for its outrageous guests who usually got into crazy fights as the audience cheered Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. A family spokesperson says Jerry was battling a brief illness. Our sources tell us it was pancreatic cancer that was diagnosed a few months ago and this week he took a turn for the worse. The spokesperson says he died Thursday morning peacefully at his home in the Chicago area. Thank you so much for watching and may his soul rest.